Okay, today we are in the American Completion Tools gas lift lab, and I'll be showing you how to set an inch and a half gas lift valve with a quarter inch port using the ACT gas lift test bench. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is remove all the tail plugs from your gas lift valves and then place them into a water bath to allow them to normalize to 6 degrees Fahrenheit for a minimum of 20 minutes before conducting any testing. For the sake of demonstration in this video, we'll be setting a gas lift valve to 775 pounds at test rack open. Now we have this valve here that's been sitting in the water bath for over 20 minutes, so it should be sufficiently down in temperature for us to test. I will remove the tail plug. We're going to do this again. Place it in the test rack to verify the test rack open pressure. I'll turn on the sleeve, close the exhaust, and add pressure. We're at test rack open, as you can see, we have a little pressure of approximately 650 pounds, which is actually insufficient for our, our targeted test rack open of 775. So I want to take this out of the fixture, take it over to the charging station to bring it up to a working pressure, which we can finally bring down to the actual test rack open value. Okay, so now we're going to charge the gas to the valve. Now in accordance with API 19G2, which charges to 100 pounds above the TRO we're intending to set which in our case would be about 900 pounds. And I have preset the regulator on this tank to 900 pounds. So I will attach the charging adapter. Making sure that the O-ring seats properly into the valve. We'll attach it to the tank. And we will add air to the valve. The pressure come up, the valve opened, took the extra charge, and we can shut off the air. Then the excess nitrogen and remove the charging adapter. Now after this, we will put it back into the water bath to cool for 20 minutes minimum before continuing our testing. Okay, now we have let the valve cool in the water bath for 20 minutes. We're going to verify the test rack open to ensure the valve took the charge from the nitrogen tank as we expected. So now I will close the valve, turn on our gauge, and then slowly apply pressure to the valve. down to 50 pounds above our test rack, our ideal test rack open, which would be approximately the age of 25 pounds. Now if you have a pump, you have a valve with all the numbers. is approximately 773 pounds. Now as you can see we're still below the pressure and well below on our leak by. So this valve is cleared and ready for rating. Now that we have set the test rack open pressure on the valve, we should put it into the agent. Now the first thing to do so is put the plug back in. We have the product washer. Make sure that the O-ring seats into the body like it's supposed to. And we just want to put this on snug. It doesn't need to be tight. I'll put it 
the chamber. And that will fill up the water. You can do this in a couple different stages. First we're going to fill it up to about where the lid touches, then we'll put the lid on, and then we'll purge the last of the air out of the system so there's no air trapped anywhere inside it. for a little bit, and you'll feel the already cast on the inside, and will get a little bit stiffer, but it should be smooth, screwing on. Now we can see it all the way down, I'll close the vent, turn on the water pressure, get it pressurized just a little bit, we're going to crack this just enough to let the air escape. There's no air left inside the chamber. We're ready to do the actual aging process. How to do so, we will turn on the fluid booster. We'll bring it up to 5,000 pounds three times. For the first two times, we'll bring it up there just for a couple moments. We'll let it drain back down, bring it up again, back down again, and on the third and final time, we'll bring it to 5,000 pounds and hold it for 15 minutes. like this for 15 minutes. Now we've aged the valve for 15 minutes in the chamber. We put it into the water valve for 20 minutes so the temperature to normalize and that is already passed and we're ready to take out the template so we can push into the test picture to reevaluate the pressure. Now what we're looking for here is any major deviation to the head pressure. Noting that when we put it into the test chamber, we get it at 825 pounds. You can see here, our test test has open it's about 829, 830, which is completely flat. Now, if this had deviated greatly, such as it had dropped more than 25 pounds, we'd have to take this valve and put it back into the aging chamber and run it through another cycle to reevaluate it. And if it had increased by more than 25 pounds, that means it had somehow gained pressure from the aging process. And so that valve would have to be marked for repair and taken out of service and not assigned to a work order. In this case, we're perfectly fine. And so we can continue on with the API standard and bring this down to 10 pounds above the test track open before cooling it and doing the final setting. Set on above our test open to bring that to 785 pounds.
Taking it out, remove the tail plug, and now we're going to retest the test rock open pressure. Close the exhaust valve, turn on the test sleeve, and slowly turn on the case of pressure. We're going to run about 780, which is a little low the test rock open pressure now, and so we're going to pack it down to the final pressure of 775. Now we write down the test pressure on the side of the valve, reinstall the cap, torque it down, and erase. 